Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wrath of the Righteous with me, Frankadon. Let's go ahead and cross blades with Gouter Fang in the arena. Zeklax greets you politely. How can I be of assistance? Lead me to the arena. The champion dies today. Zeklax looks at you solemnly. I've bet everything on you. We're certainly taking a risk. Hope that we're not making a mistake. Good luck. May whatever gods you worship protect you. This would be a good time for Gorm to give me a buff. I feel like he would appreciate the arena quest line. It's time for a glorious fight. This ambitious Galarian wants to fight the champion of the battle bliss himself, the deadly Gilderfang. How exciting. Who emerged victorious? My bet is on the Galarian. No one can defeat Gilderfang, especially not a soft and squishy mortal. This isn't entertainment, it's just boring. I am sure that the Battle Bliss Arena will be able to entertain you, my dear Hepsamira. That's Shamira Hepsamira. It's not Nocticula. Alexia, that's the other one. Uh, today the Method Slayer will fight Goderfang himself. How about a warm up? Look at all these Methods scurrying around. I think it's time for his signature move. Let's hear it for the Method Slayer. We'll tear them to pieces. A fight with the champion? Screw that. Whoever kills the Galarian gets a double ration for dinner. Now please, give a warm welcome. Lamastu's burp, who's that? Zeklex. Ah, never mind. Give a warm welcome to the Mephit Slayer's friends. Alright, good. They're not attacking us. Let's pull back and buff up. Because I'm assuming we're just going to get pushed immediately through the gauntlet. Probably won't have time to catch a breath. I need to concentrate. Between each fight. I will help where I can. Uh oh, we'll have our other buffs up. I will lend you my aid. Because when I slept, it didn't count as them sleep. Sorry, we still have a few buffs laying around. The world has suffered enough. I'm all ears. You require my unbiased opinion? I'm gonna go for the one shot <laughs> on some of these bosses. I know the way. No mistakes. All right, I'll have my main character start Focus on, on this goal. side. Everyone else will start on this side, and then we'll meet in the middle. Our victory is certain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this way. You the wrong Reminds me of the summon from Final Fantasy, uh, the Odin summon. <laughs> Time has come for some serious bloodshed. Give a warm welcome to our best fighters, seasoned and merciless. And behold, the gruesome skills of our contestant. Let's take down this Galarian upstart and get our gold. Let's go. I am prepared. Alright, fairly certain my main character is going to one shot you won't survive me. this guy. We will be <laughs> <laughs> this will hurt. And I was right. And that guy. <laughs> we'll bring an end to this contestant's string of victories. Behold, the fighters from the Nahindrian League. Give it up for Atselm and Ruxa. Struck me down once, but now I'll get my revenge. I'm Ruxa. I'll rule this place. Kneel before me, you pathetic maggots. We'll abide by our agreement, Don Quixote. Wow. Looks like the Method Slayer has made some new friends in the arena. 
Do you expect me to fall for this stupid plan of yours? You fool. I'll kill you first, and deal with the gutter thing later. I was hoping he dropped down into the middle of the arena. Because he has wings, that'd have been cool. I'm tired of waiting around. I'll kill you where you stand, Galarian. It looks like the champion is eager to shed some blood. He doesn't want to wait any longer. Give a huge welcome to the invincible Gelderfang. I know what to do. All right, main character, you probably one-shot him. I would like to pop this first. But actually, everybody hold position. No mistakes. And then we charge. Well, everybody else go after him, and then Focus we go after him. Enemy hey! approaching. Only like half his HP. How much does he have? 462. Yeah, that would have been a very impressive one-hit kill had that happened. This should do it. Oh, but he's prone, so that that's it for Gutterfang. <laughs> I'll go and smite him too. Wow. And then for 222 and 234, was that a crit? No, it w I rolled a six. <laughs> and it was reduced. Let's try this way. <laughs> Also, now that the model's bigger, I can see everything a lot better. It looks really good. Uh, like the heavy armor, barding and everything. Really happy with my character. Uh, Zeklex has Amerigoleth by the throat. The injured Cambion is on his knees, and blood seeps from his wounds. Zeklex raises up his dagger in a gesture of triumph. We won. Now we just need to finish him off. I'll let you do the honors. Mangalath licks his lips nervously. He glances back and forth between you and Zeklex. Am I supposed to plead for my life now? Is this the moment where I try to soften the hard hearts of my cunning killers? Well, why not? Wringing his hands dramatically, he falls to his knees. He begins to wail so loudly, even the spectators in the back of the stands can hear him. What are you doing? Let's make a deal. Zeklex, I gave you everything you wanted. Mangalath thrusts his arms toward you. And you, champion. Our newest champion. I always believed you would win. I am your biggest fan. Spare me. Finish this Lee's bag off. He's tried multiple times to kill you off in the arena. Now it's time for you to pay him back. Has he? He put me up against several very easy fights. I guess he betrayed us when we fought the... Deskerite creatures? I forgot what they're called. Deskerites are the cultists. Up. Uh, like the mini Discaris. Please have mercy on me. I promise. My generosity will know no bounds. I beg you to spare me. I won't arrange unfair fights ever again. I'll give the arena to you, Zeklex. As for you, champion, I'll give you anything you want. Shamira, save me. Mangaleth's wailing lament can be heard from the back of the stands. He gives such a moving performance, the audience bursts into applause. Hermangaleth, you're a liar and a filthy jerk. Don't be angry at me. Zeklex was the one who came up with all the nasty ideas. He wants to turn you against me. I've never done anything to you. Sure, I've been laughing and having fun. That's what I do. It's the role I play. I laugh about everything and everyone. The audience loves it. Zeklex is to blame for everything. Zeklex clutches the dagger as he hisses through his teeth. Liar, I'm so tired of your lies. There's no glory in killing a downed opponent, especially since I wasn't the one who downed him. Uh, Zeklex did this. But there is an argument to be made, since he does enslave people to fight in the arena, uh, specifically the members of the Nahindria League. And I don't tolerate that. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, watch in silence. You have no idea how powerful and wealthy I am. 
I'll give you everything I have, I swear. All of this will belong to you. Just spare me. Mangalat sounds almost hysterical, but his eyes are strangely calm as he darts a quick glance toward the bag hanging from Zeklex's shoulder. What are you waiting for? Kill him. Don't let his lies poison your mind. Remember who you are dealing with. He's a filthy liar. Watch in silence. Are you afraid that I'll seek revenge? I won't. I swear. I swear it on... on my balls. <laughs> May they shrivel and rot if I'm not telling the truth. Show me some mercy. Isn't that the Glorian way? Spare me. You'll never hear from me again. As Mangaleth grovels in fear, he turns his body so that his wide girth prevents Zeke legs from noticing the long, narrow dagger he pulls from his sleeve. Attack him, Mangaleth. I'm not going to let him kill Zeke Lex or his imp. Because if he was eyeing the bag, he's probably going to target the imp. And the imp hasn't done anything wrong. Zeke Lex utters a cry of triumph. Ermengoleth is dead. I, Zeke Lex, lay claim to the battle bliss. The arena is all mine. From now on, there'll be no more dirty fights, no more sham rivals, and no more dull shows. The fights will become unpredictable, opponents will be evenly matched, and the thrill of battle will have you on the edge of your seats. If anyone has a problem with these new arrangements, they can take it up with our new champion. My champion. Tremble before him. All hail Don Quixote, Gilderfang Slayer. And loot. Helm of Fearless Vanguard. Blinding Wrath. We also found that shield down in the gladiatorial pit. My Blinding Wrath. Whenever this plus 5 anarchic great axe confirms a critical hit, it also deals its normal da weapon damage to all creatures in melee range, including the wielder and their allies. So not identified. If I reload into the game, it'd probably identify itself. I'm a fearless vanguard. Whenever the wearer of this helm receives healing, she also gains five temporary hit points for one round. That'd be really good for a paladin, since they can use lay on hands on themselves as a fast action, I believe. Is it fast? We will win this war. Swift. Means the same thing. I was getting free and swift mixed up. That's why I was like, oh, it starts with an F. Alright. That might be worth using. But right now, the bonus to Charisma is nice on her. In fact, then we have another bonus to Charisma that I got rid of. I shouldn't have. I think I sold it to... Wolgif, so I can buy it back. Uh, it's, it's hard to use all these specialty helms as much as I want to. And it matches her armor. But it's hard to because the attribute bonuses are just too good. But you could make up for it with like the mass, Alice Wisdom, and stuff like that. But then you have to take up spell slots that are also valuable. It's only five temporary hit points, which is nothing at this point in the game. The Battle Bliss has a new champion. The demon sing you praises. You've won their respect. Tell me, champion. Do you enjoy the attention? Are you basking in your newfound glory? So my character prefers fighting in open battle, but I don't think he minds this either. Glory is glory after all. Uh, yes, I thought it was fun. 
No champion. It was not fun. Who are you to tell me what was fun? Get out of here. A uh, no champion. It was not fun. What happened in the arena was dreadful. It filled me with, filled me with sorrow. I'm grieved to find that you do not share my feelings on this matter. I'm chaotic good. What did you expect? Hell, it wasn't fun. Oh, the dire one was Trevor. Sword and helmet. Did we learn anything about Trevor's sword and helmet? I don't think that we did. We know he lost his armor. I guess he kept his hell, his hell knight helmet. Because Graham only had the armor. The sword... I don't remember any details about the sword. But the helmet probably would have given it away. Zeklex looks very grand and important. He's clearly enjoying his new status. His shoulders look strong and broad, and he appears to have grown a few inches taller. However, he still addresses you politely, and you can hear the respect in his voice. The Battle Bliss welcomes its new champion. How can I be of assistance? My companion Socio needs to meet the Dire One. Forgive me, champion, but rules are rules. You can talk to the Dire One whenever you'd like, but your companion cannot. However, with your permission, I can arrange a meeting for them in the arena. And by a meeting, I mean a fight. Is this option suitable for you? I agree. Trevor is my brother. He never raised a hand against me. I wouldn't be so sure of that. The arena has changed him. Also, wasn't the Dire One supposed to be in the other fight? Zeke like said the Dire One would probably be there. Maybe if I hadn't started Socio's quest, or if Socio wasn't in my party. He would have shown up in that fight. Well, the arena has changed him, but who knows? We certainly can't rule out the possibility of a peaceful outcome. So, let's make a deal. If the Dire One, I mean Trevor, really does recognize you and refuses to fight, I'll send someone else into the arena. The two of you can fight against your opponent together. After all, spectators pay to see a show. We can't disappoint them. It would be bad for business. The show. Socio grits his teeth. Fine, I agree. After all I've gone through to find him, what's another fight? But if we win, you'll let him go free. We'll leave the arena together. Are you trying to bankrupt me? Zeklex looks as though he's about to object, but a glance in your direction seems to change his mind. Fine. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to argue. Let's make a wager. Your life for your brother's freedom. Do we have a deal? Tiffany extends his hand to Sosio, who shakes it reluctantly. Sosio is ready to enter the arena and face Trevor. Very good. Follow me, please. Sosio steps into the arena, his eyes wandering around the stands full of clamorous spectators. The faces of demons and mortals alike blur, merging into a horrendous, multi-eyed monster which roars at the top of its many lungs in an endless thirst for blood. They are chanting, The Dire, The Dire, and the Dire One answers their call. A dark-skinned warrior in an enclosed helmet approaches Sosio. His body is covered with scars, old and new, intertwining in web-like layers. Even the fingers of the veteran gladiator are marred and disfigured. Those same hands that once produced delicate wooden designs, or a source of joy for the whole village, now grip a weapon, a weapon that is pointed at the young cleric. Trevor, brother, is that you? The helmet prevents the gladiator from hearing anything not already drowned out by the crowd. The warrior breaks into a sprint and lunges at Socio with his sword raised to strike. Oh, that's right, we have Trevor's shield. Socio raises his shield. The gladiator's weapon hits the shield with a sonorous clang that sounds like a lament. He raises his blade again, but suddenly freezes. After several seconds of examining the shield, his eyes slowly track up to the face of the man holding it. Socio. Trevor lowers his weapon slowly, his defigured fingers unclench, 
letting the sword fall to the arena floor. The gladiator collapses to his knees next to the blade. Brother, I'm so sorry. And this is one of the um, portraits you can pick at the beginning of the game. That looked pretty cool. It would be a good Hell Knight uh, portrait. Brother, how did this happen to you? I was fighting... I... I wanted to... Strange breathing echoes from underneath the helmet. The gladiator clenches his fists and shakes his head, unable to find the right words to tell his story properly. I wanted to kill them at any cost. I wanted to spare you from going to war. They fooled me. There are too many of them, and the price to pay was too high. You don't have to apologize. You chose this path and have been following it heroically. I... I'm proud of you. What a shocking surprise. Our gladiators have lost their will to fight. Each of them would rather die than witness his brother bleed out in the arena. But we're going to give them just a chance to do both. This is a unique gift from the Battle Bliss Arena to you. Come back tomorrow and place your bets. Will the dire one and his newfound brother stand strong against their enemies? Who will win? Two mortals or one Vivakia? You'll soon find out. Let's give a round of applause and a final roar to our fearless warriors. Guards, take the dire one and that... whatever his name is. Take them away. Trevor picks up his blade. Or Trevor picks his blade up from the ground and points at the arena guard circling the two brothers. The simple gesture has a truly intimidating effect on the demons. Leave, brother. I'll stay here and hold them off until the end, like a hero. Young Cleric places his palms on top of his brother's huge callous fists, clutching the blade's hilt. Their eyes meet through the slit of the helmet, and something changes. Already an enormous, muscular hulk, Trevor becomes even larger and stronger. The mythic power bestowed upon Socio by his commander is shelling through his brother as well. Hey, I didn't say he could do that. That's my power. My goddess, can you hear me? I'm not worthy of your grace. I have abandoned my path and your teachings for this endless, hopeless war. I have nothing to look forward to anymore, but if only you can still hear my prayers, please keep my brother safe. In answer to the fallen paladin's rasping prayer, Social Shield is enveloped in an iridescent glow. Now run, escape. Farewell, brother. Remember me. That really it? So I leave him to die? Socio runs out of the arena pit, pursued by demonic screams and the thunder of a cracking rock. He turns back to steal one last look at the place where his brother fought his final battle against the abyss. It's over. Trevor is gone. At least I got a chance to see him one last time and to witness his final heroic deed. Thank you. I would have never found him without your help. That felt very anticlimactic. I wonder if there's a way to save him from the arena. I messed up somewhere. I felt like I did everything right in the quest. It seems straightforward enough. Maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I missed a spot or something. I probably missed a perception check somewhere. <laughs> and that cost me saving his brother. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. How am I going to tell her mother? I don't want her to know of his fall. I'll tell them he died like a hero, fighting demons in the abyss. That's not a lie. It really happened. After a pause, the cleric adds softly. What will you do now? I will remember him at his best. I will do everything I can to end this war as soon as possible. Nobody deserves what Trevor had to endure, and I will make sure nobody else will. Because I assumed when Sociol touched Trevor and gave him some of my mythic power, I thought Trevor became a part of our party, because I only share that power with people in my party. I was like, sweet, we got a new companion. And then, that happened. You think he is a hero? Yes. He strayed from the path of a paladin, but not the ideals of the crusade itself. 
Even the thought of what these monsters did to him terrifies me. Still, despite the unimaginable torment, he was able to remember who he once was. I think... I think he would have inspired even the best of the Hell Knights if he hadn't been caught by these demons. Socio bites his lip, cutting himself short. Ultimately continues. We have to keep going. Yes. Let us. Alright, we'll go back to the Nexus and speak to him, but first I want to see what's up with this. What? Do you like greets you politely? How can I be of assistance? I've been trying to enslave my companion Socio and his brother. Ah, that was a rash decision. Please accept my apologies. Uh, such behavior was unprofessional of me. I wonder, maybe it depends on the leader of the arena, too. Maybe if, uh, Amangaleth was still in charge, he wouldn't have tried to capture... I mean, I think he was more likely to try and capture them. But maybe not. Who knows? It's just that he'd make a perfect addition to the arena. I would have made sure he was given the best of care, and he would have been accepted into the Nahindrian League without question. In fact, he would not be risking his life any more than he already does as your companion. He would be living in far more comfortable conditions. However, I see that my words have failed to persuade you. So please forgive me, champion. And don't punish me too severely. I am ready to enter the... Goodness. I am ready to enter the arena. Aziklex taps his bag to get the attention of the imp hidden inside. Bro, we need to arrange a fight for Don Quixote against another newcomer. We're looking for an opponent that shows some potential. A promising new fighter with something to prove. Remind me, do we have anyone who fits that description? Anyone who is still alive? Oh, oh, we're going straight in. Okay, I thought. You should have listened to reason. I don't like him being up here. Let's swap them back. Like so. Ready so do, for can we just keep coming back to the arena and fighting? That's what it looks like. Alright, well, let's get back to the Nexus, speak to Sosio, and see if we can identify that shield that we picked up in the gladiator chambers. I'm curious if we just keep fighting in the arena. Like, does it just keep going? That is not far. Yeah, I feel like I had to mess something up with Socio's quest because he even had his own portrait, uh, Trevor did. I guarantee there's something else I could have done with that. But I messed up somewhere along the way. Let's rest first, and then we'll speak to Sosu. I've heard accounts of supernatural creatures changing their nature and becoming something different. But these cases are so rare that it'd be absurd to see them as justification for trusting any demon claiming repentance. Thank you for reminding me that I am not the only one uh, to have traveled this path. There's a chance I will succeed. Even one in a million. I will not give up. Yeah, suck on that, Regil. You tiny nerd. Tosu is holding a brush and laboring over a painting. He's clearly dissatisfied with the results so far. He tuts and tears the paper into pieces. You know, it's a knight wearing black armor. He stands straight and tall, 
With resolution etched on his stern, scarred face. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Socio sighs heavily. He really was a hero. He fought the enemy till the end. What does he leave behind? I remember what we were like as children. And, you know, I think it was wrong to teach children. They should grow up to be heroes. It's a lot of pressure. Or maybe if I let Trevor kill Socio in the arena, we get Trevor instead of Socio? Because there's an option to not do anything, to let Trevor just stab Socio. Charred Bulwark. This plus four heavy shield grants its wielder immunity to cold and a plus one bonus to armor class against medium and smaller creatures. Another immunity. I'm thinking. Yeah, this is an upgrade for her. It's only a heavy shield, it looks like a tower shield. Like, it's a proper heavy shield. Like, the, these heavy shields, I'm not a huge fan of. They just seem a little too small. I guess it is made out of metal, so it would actually be heavy. This one looks like a proper heavy shield. It's awesome. Did this get upgraded? I don't remember what it initially was. What the stats were. It's Immaculate Petal. This shield... Decorated with fine filigree, seems to be fragile, but its look is deceptive. Or fragile. Might be Italian. Uh, for centuries, its enchanted steel has been protecting many worthy devotees of Shaylin from harm. With this shield, Trevor Vanek, Socio's brother, had left home to join the crusade. How could this paladin part with his, with his goddess's holy relic? This plus four heavy shield grants its wearer spell resistance 17, as well as negative energy resistance 30. So there's nothing that locks him into the glaive. He starts with one. And it's his goddess's favorite weapon, right? Yeah. But he might be a decent pseudo tank, especially with this shield. You get it pretty early on too, in act two. I think I'm gonna keep, where's it at? Do that for now. Didn't he have another glaive? Did I get rid of that? There's another plus three glaive we had. Alright, I want to buy back this other piece of equipment from him. Where's it at? Oh, also, this does not have an arcane spell fairy chance. So this is light armor that your spellcasters can wear. The Haramakis. Uh, where is... Oh, wait. What? Super bonus to spell penetration. What is... We have... Oh, this is better, I think. Yeah. A lot more effects. That's way better. All right, where is that armor for Sila? I'm gonna stack a bunch of immunities on my tank to keep her alive a little better. If I can find it. It wasn't that one. Did I sell it to Moljif? I might take care of this off camera instead. I don't see it. More spell resistance. Oh, never mind. No, that's the wrong armor. Yeah, I'm going to call the episode here. Off camera, I'm going to see if I can find that other banded mail that we had that gave immunity to fire. And then that way, Sila will have immunity to three effects. Or two effects, sorry. Cold and fire. Maybe I'm getting mixed up with this cloak instead. That's immunity to fire. 
What did the banded mail do then? It had two effects. One, if you knock prone or whatever, it would apply that condition to the enemy that attacked you. But it had another effect. I need to find it. All right, either way, I'm going to call it here. I'll take care of that off camera. Any equipment changes, we'll go over at the beginning of the next one. And then we got to find another quest to do. I guess we'll go to the Rapture of Rupture. We know where that's at. In the upper city. We're going to save the... Mage Tower for now. And deal with that later. So for now, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.